In Mass Effect Andromeda, humanity has explored the stars, met alien species, and stolen their fax machines. Sorry, spoiler alert. But how soon will we reach the stars, and how do we know so much about these stars? In the 16th century, Nicholas Copernicus made a bold claim. He argued the Earth wasn't the center of the universe, as others believed. Instead, he determined it and the other planets orbited the sun. The first scientist to use a telescope to watch the stars, Galileo confirmed Copernicus's theory and was jailed for it. And yet, centuries later, science has definitively proven Galileo right. Being in prison sucks. And also, yeah, the Earth isn't the center of the solar system. Stop always making it about you, the Earth. People around the world worked on ways to explore the stars. For years, many thought the best way to explore space was via giant cannon. Actually, nobody tried exploring space that way because it would be stupid. Yet humanity wouldn't let that get in the way of exploring space. Starting as a competition between America and Russia, we soon landed on our closest neighbor, the moon. The moon's anger was great. Fine, this is what the moon landing looked like. Everyone was safe. It's a good time, are you happy? From the space shuttle to the space station, we have established our place in the stars and realized how much we overuse the word space when naming spacey things. But what comes next? Well, without faster than light travel, leaving our solar system would be an endless game of are we there yet? The Andromeda galaxy is 2.5 million light years away and light is basically the fastest thing ever. Well, tachyons might be faster, but they're so tacky. Really? Nobody? Nobody liked that one but me. That's fine. Anyway, with our current technology, it would take us approximately never. We would, we would, we would just nev never get there. So what are our options? Well, one is finding a way to fold space like a piece of paper and then tear through it to get to the other side. This is called a wormhole and it would move us faster than the speed of light. You might remember it from the movie Event Horizon, where it did not end great. Uh, another idea is the Alcubierre warp drive, the brainchild of theoretical physicist Miguel Alcubierre. It's a device that would warp space-time around a ship, expanding it behind the spacecraft and contracting it in front of it. And if the universe is expanding behind you, that would push you forward faster than light. The catch is that it would take a lot of negative energy, which can only be created using pure YouTube comments. Actually, we don't know how to create negative energy yet. Researchers think we'd need to discover some exotic new material that has a negative mass to make it work. All the matter we've seen so far has a positive mass. If only there were some fantastic new material that could mess with mass, like a, like an element zero. That's crazy. I'll rework that. But that won't stop humanity from exploring the galaxy like the brave crew members of the Hyperion in Mass Effect Andromeda. Even now, scientists are researching newer and faster ways to get funding to research newer and faster ways to reach the stars. Whether soon or in a few centuries, mankind will one day stand on alien worlds, look out at the stars and go, let's go see if they have any fax machines and steal them. Thanks for watching. If you want to learn more about the science of Mass Effect Andromeda, check out our other science fictional episodes here. And remember, Mass Effect Andromeda comes out March 21st.